nothing evokes a time and a place quite like black and white photographs, working men outside a pub in the East End of London in the 1930s. Bowler hats on Oxford Street just by Selvridge's. And Piccadilly Circus in the 1950s ablaze with neon and reflected light. Until recently, no one knew these images even existed. They were discovered in a battered old suitcase in an attic in Kent in the south of England. A cache of several hundred negatives left by an amateur photographer. Very few had ever been made into prints. I thought we should have something of a clear out, um, not before time, after about 30 years. <laughs> I'd forgotten the suitcase was up there, to be honest. The suitcase and the photos came from Martin Carroll's late father-in-law. All the negatives were in these little manila envelopes. And here we've got a shot of the London market with the, with the family intent on finding matching shoes from a huge, great pile. Camera in hand, this was the amateur photographer. By profession, John Turner was a property manager. I was so delighted when we found these pictures because I thought, yes, <laughs> I knew that was in there somewhere. Um, because he was a man who wore a mask quite a lot. John Turner was a man of very few words. He preferred to express himself visually. He had a very dry, very quirky sense of humour. And you can sense that in this early self-portrait in the rain. And irresistibly so in his street photography. The lady collecting for a pet charity is herself asked for money by a beggar. Exactly the sort of picture worthy of a master 20th century photographer like Henri Cartier-Bresson, a 1950s fashionista butterfly sunglasses and fur is given the once-over by a bronze dog. The husband distracted by the lingerie display. Has, has opening the suitcase been a, a revelation? Yes. <laughs> yes, it has. A nice revelation. A very, very nice revelation because the, the pictures feel like the father I had an intuitive relationship with. Yes. Asleep at the wheel on a cross-channel ferry. Nuns at the beach. A passing backward glance on Bond Street. Who or what was that? After his death in 1987, John Turner's photos disappeared into the attic without anyone realising how good they were. Liz and Martin are planning a book and they hope an exhibition. Nick Glass, CNN with a suitcase of old photos in Kent.